Champions are remembered for a lifetime, but game-winning shots aren't easily forgotten. As a result, buzzer beaters have been responsible for some of the most memorable moments in NBA postseason history. In some situations, it was a series-clinching shot, while in others, it ignited a postseason comeback for a player's team. Regardless of the series' outcome, NBA fans continue to revisit particular winning buckets. So here are the top 10 buzzer beaters in NBA history. At number 10, LeBron James, Cleveland Cavaliers in 2009. LeBron James won the first of his four MVP honors during the 2008 season. It's only right that his outstanding season ended with a buzzer beater in the playoffs. LeBron James grabbed an inbounds pass with exactly one second remaining in the Eastern Conference Finals, trailing the Orlando Magic 95-93. He then hit a fadeaway three-pointer to startle the Magic and tie the series in one game apiece. I'm shocked anybody would make that shot, Magic center Dwight Howard remarked after the game. Everyone is paying attention. I know I won't be able to sleep, and neither will the rest of my comrades. We have to get over it. The Magic would recover and win the series, but LeBron's buzzer beater cemented his burgeoning fame. At number 9, Jerry West, Los Angeles Lakers, 1970. Consider making a 60-footer that's only worth two points. If your name is Jerry West, you're already familiar with the sensation. In Game 3 of the 1970 NBA Finals, the Knicks scored with the final seconds remaining on the clock, but the logo hit a 60-foot two-pointer to force overtime. Los Angeles Lakers fans can only speculate as to whether another banner would have hung in the Staples Center had the three-point line existed in 1970. At number 8, Damian Lillard, Portland Trailblazers 2014. The Houston Rockets were only 0.9 seconds away from a Game 7 in the first round of the 2014 playoffs. Damian Lillard of the Portland Trailblazers had a different strategy. Down 2, Lillard raced around a double screen, clapped twice for the ball, and threw a leaning fadeaway over Chandler Parsons from roughly 27 feet. The buzzer sounded, the arena came to a halt, and there was a splash. Portland moved to the second round of the playoffs for the first time in 14 years thanks to Lillard's triple. At number 7, Ralph Sampson, Houston Rockets, 1986. How did Ralph Sampson get this shot off? On the surface, it appears as though he miraculously tipped the ball over his head past Lakers star Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. However, the Houston Rockets star contorted his body to make a twisted, half-turned, awkward-looking jumper to secure a 114-112 victory. We had every possible shot covered, Lakers forward and future Hall of Famer James Worthy said at the time. That was the last shot that I expected. Sampson and the Rockets defeated the Lakers in the 1986 Western Conference Finals 4-1 thanks to his game-winning shot. Houston was defeated in the NBA Finals by the Boston Celtics. At number 6, Robert Horry, LA Lakers 2002. The Lakers needed two points. Kobe Bryant had a chance, but he missed. Shaquille O'Neal received a second chance, but he missed as well. Following the misses, Sacramento Kings center Vlade Divac smacked the ball away from the crowded paint area. Unfortunately for him, it was intercepted by an exposed Robert Horry. You can guess what happened next, given that Horry is now known as Big Shot Bob. Horry hit a three-pointer over the outstretched arms of King star Chris Webber, who could only watch as the ball touched the net for a 199 Lakers victory. Instead of entering Game 5 with a 3-1 series hole, LA evened the series at two wins apiece. The Lakers would go on to win the Western Conference Finals in seven games, securing the third straight NBA championship. At number 5, Kobe Bryant, LA Lakers 2006. How could Kobe not make an appearance on this list? The Lakers trailed the Phoenix Suns 98-97 with 6.1 seconds left in overtime in Game 4 of their 2006 first round series. Luke Walden smacked a jump ball toward Bryant, who took five dribbles before pulling up at the right elbow. Neither Raja Bell nor Boris Diaw were able to stop the shot, and Kobe led the Lakers to a 99-98 victory. Despite the fact that the higher-seeded Suns would go on to win the series in three straight games, this was one of Kobe's most famous baskets. At number 4, John Stockton, Utah Jazz, 1997. Eleven years after Sampson's shot clinched Houston's spot in the NBA Finals, John Stockton upset the Rockets at the buzzer. The Utah Jazz had 2.8 seconds to break a 100-100 stalemate in Game 6 of the Western Conference Finals, and the famous playmaker made a memorable shot. Rockets forward Charles Barkley scrambled to contest the three-pointer, but Stockton stepped into a clean look after receiving the inbounds ball and taking one dribble. The buzzer beater gave his side a 4-2 series victory and put the Jazz to their first ever NBA Finals. At number 3, Derek Fisher, LA Lakers 2004. The Spurs seized a 73-72 lead on Tim Duncan's amazing jumper, 
but Fisher managed to hit a game-winning shot despite having only 0.4 seconds to do so. Given that brief window of opportunity, the Lakers guard chose to dash off the court. I just wanted to get out of there and not give them an opportunity to think that we didn't believe it went in, Fisher said. At number 2, Gar Heard, Phoenix Suns, 1976. Game 5 of the 1976 NBA Finals between Suns and Celtics is regarded as one of the best NBA games ever played. In the last seconds of the second overtime period, John Havlicek hit a leaning 15-footer to put the Celtics up 111-110 to and set off a court storming at the Boston Garden. However, one second remained on the clock. Because of since-changed NBA regulations, the Suns called a timeout to advance the ball to half court, even though it meant giving up a technical free throw. Phoenix had one shot after the spectators were cleared from the court. Gar Heard did not squander it. His turnaround 20-foot shot hit nothing but nylon, prompting a third overtime. The Suns went on to lose the crazy game in triple overtime, and Boston won the finals one game later. And at number one, Michael Jordan, Chicago Bulls, 1989. Shortly after Jordan gave the Bulls 99-98 lead, the Cleveland Cavaliers responded with only three ticks remaining on the clock in the 1989 postseason. That's when MJ gave us one of the most memorable moments in NBA history. Jordan dodged Larry Nance, double clutched to allow a defender to soar past him, and banged in the game-winning shot for a 101-100 triumph. As the Bulls veteran released a jumping fist pump, another player dropped to the floor in disappointment. Well guys, thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so that you never miss a video. We'll see you guys next time.